Hey there chameleons, it's Camille and today I'm going to show you how to look like a glazed donut. That's right, you're going to look glazed and delicious. This is mostly a skin focused tutorial to show you how to glow. And you know who else is really good at that? Leah. And her video on how she achieves glazed donutness is linked down below. So I'm starting by putting up all my hair as usual, getting it out of the way. And I'm going to prime my face so my glaze stays on all day. To color correct, I'm using an orange concealer over my dark spots because my skin has been mad problematic lately, so I'm just fixing that color before I start putting on foundation on top. Also going in under my eyes with some of that to cancel out some darkness. Make sure you blend that all in with your fingers so it's not too bright. Now I'm going in with my foundation, which is a mix between the Maybelline Fit Me 320 and 322 because I don't have my exact perfect shade, so I just mix those. And now I'm gonna use my Artiste Oval 7 brush, which is amazing for foundation. It also makes your foundation last more, like you can use less foundation to get the same amount of coverage. And I just really like how smooth it makes my skin look and it does make the foundation go on like it is skin, not like you're actually wearing makeup. Now I'm gonna clean that brush because it's always best to just clean it right away. And we're gonna conceal. Conceal don't feel, guys. That's the number one tip that I can give you for this part. I usually use my fingers to blend it out just because it's easy and you can kind of smooth out the edges like that. Now I'm gonna go in with my loose banana powder from Ofra and I'm going to use this to bake. In order to get baked, you gotta just put that on under your eyes, just in that like triangular shape, and this will help with mattifying and soaking up all of the oils, but it will also make your skin look very smooth and matte. I also do that on my forehead, chin, and then my jawline above where I'd contour and below where I'd contour. Speaking of contouring, I'm going in with my favorite contour shade, and it only needs one tap with the brush, and then you'll have enough for each side. This is by Makeup Geek, by the way, and it's just a really good way to sculpt out your face. And they actually have a really good color for me, so I use it along my jaw, forehead, etc. And then I use, and then I'm using a powder foundation in my shade with this huge fluffy It Cosmetics brush, and I'm just setting everywhere else that I didn't bake. So just kind of avoiding those areas so that they can still be baking. Now I'm going to prime my lids using my Ofra primer just so that everything will stay on better. And I'm going to go in with this palette and use the first two shades on the bottom to do my lids. The first one is just a typical glaze as you would get for a regular donut. And then the darker one is like a chocolate glaze. So we're putting the chocolate glaze donut color in the outer V and just blending that together with the other color. It's very simple, but you want to look like you have just very simple makeup on and that you were just born glazed like that. I'm also bringing the chocolate glaze on the lower lash line. And now I'm going to fill in my brows. I don't really have any donut jokes for this part, but it just, you know, fill in your brows, it's important. <laughs> Now I'm going to tight line with some black liner because I want my eyes to be defined without having to do any liquid liner and I'm doing that on the bottom as well and then topping that off with some mascara. Now I'm just wiping away what I baked with, just all that extra powder, which you can see a lot of it already settled into my foundation so there's not too much extra. But for the extra that is there, you do want to just brush that away and blend it into your skin so it doesn't look like you just have a bunch of powder. <laughs> I'm also using that same brush to just blend everything together with a little bit of my skin tone powder on top. Going in with a natural looking blush, I'm just putting that on my cheeks just for a little flush of color but nothing too crazy. And now I'm going to set the skin. I like to set the powder so that it kind of turns more skin looking. And now I'm going to glaze my face. Going in with my shimmer strips and my favorite highlighting brush, I'm just going to place that onto my cheekbones where you'd want the glow to be. And then after you place it on where you want it to be, which is kind of like 
tracing out that triangle under your eye, you want to blend it out, but you don't want to blend it too all over the place. Like you still want it to be concentrated in that area, but you don't want it to just look like a line of stuff that's sitting there. So once you blend it and you have a really refined powder like this one, it would just look like a straight up glaze on your face. That's why I also put it on my nose and highlight my brow bone with it. So now I'm setting that again just to lock in the glaze like that and kind of intensify it a little bit. My lips were already moisturizing with this jojoba oil lip oil. So now that that's all set in, I'm gonna go in with my lip color. This is by Jouer and it is a very beautiful metallic shade, which is why I decided to use it today. It doesn't have too much of a crazy impact on this look because it is close to my lip color, but it's the perfect amount of shimmer to look glazed with. I'm topping that off by my current favorite lip gloss, which is by Milani. It has kind of gold and pink shimmer in it, and it just looks really good paired with this lip color. So now, you look like a glazed donut, and you are ready to be eaten alive. That sounded cannibalistic, but you know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna rephrase that. You look glowy, like you're pregnant, and you have the pregnant glow. But whatever, you get what I mean. Being a glazed donut is one of the highest compliments, so there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Check out Leo's video, which is linked in the description box down below, as well as my other two channels and my links to my social media accounts. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you chameleons in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.